Keep the rabbits out. Keep the rabbits out. <laughs> that was a very good lamb. <laughs> you know, silly, are you? <laughs> Do you remember seeing that on television? And that was such a good lamb. I mean, the, 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 the remark was so dry. And, and it, was, it was very clever. This end of World War Corner. But it was just a beautiful spot. And we had the darlingest little. Um, little blue wrens. There was mum and dad and six kids all fluttering around and you just the little leaves. They'd flutter down to the fire and flutter they were fun, they were birds. And off they'd go again. Captain, Captain Jesse! Hello Captain Jesse! Like a coffee, thanks.
We're coming on to the Bikini Beach now, where old grey-headed blokes like me will be able to sit down and have a beer and uh, a smoke and watch what goes on. And this is the area behind, uh, in front of the jacaranda tree where the convention hall will go. Side of the pump house, water tower, wharves, and the hotel again. Renmark is the queen city of the river, and so we leave Renmark with the traditional paddle wake, and uh, we feel that this project will be one of the best in South Australia, if not in Australia, for tourism. It seemed to me whenever we had crisis, Ian would always come to the fore and he'd pour oil on troubled water and he'd calm the crews down and he had a wonderful knack of, 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 of um, smoothing things out and righting people's wrongs and he was very good at that. And, and, uh, and the place were really his life, weren't they? Oh, absolutely. Rusty was wonderful. He did a lot, lot of... Who was that, Rusty? Rust, John Ruskin, yeah. uh, fixing up the... The, the two ways, and he was Ian's right hand man as far as that went on the edge engineering side of two ways. Was he involved on in the very first boat? No, I don't think so. That, the shots I've got seem to indicate that when they had just the two pontoons in the river with a tractor stuck on the back of it just testing the pontoon. Was Rusty there then? It looked like he was driving. He could, it, he could, have, well, he could have been. I don't remember. I know Hal was, I think Hal was on that. I tried that with them was that it? time. Okay. He was there. So you see, Bunny, uh, so Mike and Dad on the on the pontoon, yes. paddling around the middle of the river with just this tractor strung between two pontoons, just testing out the paddle drive. Yes. And that had. Um, yes, I remember seeing them going down the river. Yeah. It had steering. Um, tra used the tractor steering to steer the boat rather mm -hmm. than the rudder, rudders. Mm -hmm. Now I can remember that very vividly. And the, the, it was, they were down, we were down there all day getting this boat launched. And, and, and um, it was Jimmy Howie and somebody else, Bill Crow, came. Whether they were, had they both brought their tractors, I can't remember. But they helped with, uh, getting the boat into the water. The cabin and was rolled onto the pontoon, yes, which was already in the water. That's right. The it was only boat launched like right that, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all the other boats came from the factory, from our shed at home, already assembled and all ready to roll. And we, I remember we had police escort to, to, to get us to the destination where we were going to launch it. And at the heyday, I think there were 30 boats, weren't they? The oh, yes, 30 or 31, I can't remember. Right here now, Jesse. Right here now, hon. So. I can't really remember.